what's up? Uh, just got out of the shower and I need to sit down and make a to-do list because there are so many things that I should be doing and I'm kind of losing track of them and, and I don't know. I have a big problem with getting stuff done because I can't. I really can't. I'm really bad at getting stuff done. Anyways, um, hey. Uh, not really sure what to talk about. I just felt like making a vlog. I am thinking about how to make videos and what to do about them and stuff because I recently started making a lot of videos and they're edited. I have edited a few and they would be ready to go up. They're not perfect quality, but I already said in the introduction video that they were gonna be homemade. Um, but I was struggling kind of figuring out where I should put them. Should I put them on the main channel? No, maybe. Although my skin has been really bad lately. You can't see it that well because I use a filter and I use that on purpose because Again, my skin has been really bad lately. So that's a thing. I should have that candle. I was thinking that maybe I should do a face mask like now that I got out of the shower. My skin is a little dry right now because I haven't put any moisture on it. I have toned it and stuff. I have a fairly... Someone's talking. Um, I have a fairly long skincare routine, but it's not quite as long as some people. Like, I have a Korean skincare routine, which means that I double cleanse and all those stuff. Um, which is great. I mean, my skin feels a lot better ever since I started doing it, but then again, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a long process. I'm gonna show you something. Sorry about the noise. I'm gonna show you something really, really cool. I just need to fetch it. Uh, come here with me. Um, because I got something in the mail today. Something great. Something awesome. So, uh, a while ago, um, I made some new friends. Sorry, it was super flashy. I made some new friends. And those friends of mine are super geeks. Or rather, um, I knew one of them before, from before. And then I got to know these two others, and then one of them was like a super geek. So I actually have been playing a role-playing game, kind of like D&D, but it was Pathfinder, which is... I don't really know the difference. I guess there are a few different rules, but those are mostly like uh, Dungeon Master things. As a player, there's not too much of a difference. So we're playing that campaign. It's a small campaign. I guess it's like a one-shot or something. But it lit, really lit, my love for geeky stuff. I have been into the geeky things before. I do own a set of dice. And I also do, actually, somewhere, I don't think I have it anymore. But at some point I owned, like, D&D maps and stuff. And I was gonna buy D&D books, but whatever. Um, but yeah, it really lit my love for geeky stuff. And then I went on a website called The Dice Shop, and this got in the mail today. Look at this, isn't that the cutest thing ever? It's like a little chest. With a map on it. And inside the chest are my dice. Not all of them. I have two more sets of dice. So I have four sets of dice with three additional D20s. And it doesn't make too much sense to have additional D20s because uh, you only use one. But like it makes way more sense to have more D6s because that's usually the one you'll throw more of. It's like sometimes you'll be like, throw three or two D6s and you're like, yay. If you don't know what D6 or D20 mean, it means as many sides of the dice there is. Because the most normal one, hold on. Ah! Okay. That was way more messy than it needed to be. Ah. So the most normal one is this kind, you know? Six sides. One, two, three, four, six. You can actually, that was a bad example. Where did the other one go? The other one was way easier to see, because it's bigger. So, okay, so, you know, normal, standard dice. Um, I guess that is the second most common dice in role-playing games. I'm not 100% sure. But then you have D20, which is the most common, like basically the one used the most. And I got, I can't show two at once, I got special dice, so these are metal, isn't that cool? I'm such a geek. I love how they feel, because they're heavier, the metal, and this one is like a silver polish, it's not actual silver, but you know, silver polished, and then this one is gold antique, and you can't really see the colors because of the filter, but then again, I use filters whenever I don't wear any makeup, because I can't be bothered, and my skin is horrendous. I remember I got this. This is another D20, and it looks gorgeous, but you can't really read the numbers that well because it's kind of see-through. So it's not practical, but I bought it because it was cheap-ish, and because it looked so pretty. So yeah, got those, and then I just got a bunch of dice. Two sets of purple dice. Different kind of sets, but you know, dice. I'm happy about that. I'm a geek, and I love these things. And I loved playing Pathfinder, and a friend of mine actually told me that he thinks I could become really good at D&D, which would be great. Um, because I don't know, personally, I feel like I have the potential because I'm very good at stories. Stories and backstories, I can make them up real fast, I can familiarize myself with the character, and I can roleplay pretty, or fairly well, at least. Um, depends a bit on the group you're playing with. If no one else is playing, they're kind of playing, like, normal, strict stuff. It's gonna be harder to actually, like, 
throw yourself into it and actually role play. Um, but yeah, no. Um, I, I loved playing, it was really fun, even though I didn't always know, sorry, I'm holding this with one hand, even though I didn't always know what to do or how to do it, I just, I don't know, I was excited, it was fun, so I guess with more experience it would be more fun, um, but I need to write the to-do list, and I need to think about what to put on that to-do list, and not all can be done today, this is really a mess, my room is somewhat of a mess, look, you can see the floor, but the table hasn't seen the light of day for a while. And there is a pile of clothes that are starting to build up. And also my work area is kind of full. I got a drawing board, which is taking up like a third of my space. Almost half. Jesus Christ. Uh, so yeah, I need to rearrange some stuff to make this work. Which is kind of frustrating. Um, but yeah, I need to make a do list. And then I think I might have time to film. No, I definitely have time to film. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write a to-do list, and then I'm gonna do maybe one or two things, like maybe put on a pile of laundry. And then I am going to uh, do a face mask to kind of hopefully save some of my skin because before, before I rip it off in frustration. And then I'm just gonna continue doing this list. And then I'm having someone come over. I have no idea when they're coming over, actually, at some point, sometime. And then I guess we'll work on some D&D stuff. We're making a campaign, maybe. And general stuff, yeah. Uh, my book is not coming along. As great as I would like it to. Um, if I haven't... I haven't mentioned it before that I'm making a book, right? I keep forgetting what I mentioned and I haven't mentioned. I'm making a book. It's gonna be my debut book. It's self-published, which means it's gonna cost me all my savings. Um, but I'm excited. I'm speaking fairly low. I was thinking maybe I can make like a quick video or something, but I'm speaking very low. Not sure how go well it would go over, to be completely honest with you. Uh, maybe I could. I could do a lore video like this, to be honest. And I probably should. And I thought I would make a show and tell about the dice and the dice website. And then I thought maybe I could do... I need to make a list of videos. I have a huge list in my head and I just never get it out. Because I don't feel inspired to do them whenever I can. Mm. Anyways, uh, quick catch up, I guess. Hopefully I'm going to remember to actually upload this one. Because I forgot to upload the last one. I'm yawning. <laughs> but yeah, wish me luck with the stuff that I'm doing. Wish me luck with my book. I hope I can... I mean, I know I'm going to finish it. I just hope I can finish it in time. Because there's this thing that we're going to to show off the things that we made at school. And I'm bringing my books and I can sell them there. And if I miss that, then... Well, I lost an opportunity to sell. And I'm selling 200 of them, so hopefully I can sell that out. Um, but who knows? It's... Um, not an expensive book to come in with. I feel like it's just a lot of money, speaking as a student. Because uh, it's 200 Norwegian Corona, uh, which would be roughly, pff, I don't know, 30 something dollars? Maybe? No, not not that much. Like 25? Maybe? I don't know, something like that. Somewhere between 20 and 30 dollars. Um, that's not expensive books in Norway. That is actually below average for a hardcover book, which this is, but there isn't that many pages, so I don't really know. If the price is right. Um, but hopefully it will be. And, I mean, I know I'm going to sell it. Uh, at least, I'm fairly confident I'm going to sell it so that I don't go in minus. Because I am using my own money for this. Anyways, this is irrelevant and very interesting, so I'm going to go. Um, but quick update. Wish me luck. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, I don't know, throw some dice. If you get a natural 20 or a 19, then you can let me know. And, I'll see you soon.